Symptoms ranging from unexplained physical injuries, uh, unexplained long-term joint pains or body pains, uh, being lonely, um, moving away from the surroundings, nervousness, being shattered. And the signs that we look is uh, multiple bruise on the skin, multiple joint injuries, recurrent fractures or the patient unable to explain what is happening. If you think that the elderly person is being abused or neglected, first thing that you do is talk to the person. If you are in a long distance and unable to talk to the person, then send your near and dear ones to check on him regularly. First thing is remove him from the abused area or distend him from the person who is abusing them and seek for the nearest medical attention if he is having any physical injuries. If you think that there has been a psychological abuse, then talk to the person and get him to the nearest attention. Any uh, chronic disorders or functional impairment, example stroke where the patient is bedridden or cannot move or uh, take medication on time or any psychological disorders or dementia where the patient forgets to take their medication or any stressful events like death of the partner or a financial dependence on the younger generations. These are the risk factors and what can the family members do? The family members or the caregivers can directly monitor the patients from giving medication or taking medication or giving personal care, personal attention. Having patience while dealing with elderly bedridden patients is all what we expect from the family members. And talking to the person or spending some time with the person will be much helpful. Most commonly occurs at nursing homes. No, abuse can happen even at home. No brewies is no abuse. Abuse can be any form ranging from emotional, psychological or financial. Caregivers are the ones preying on the, on the person. No, abuse can happen even with the family members. Neglect can happen even with family members. It's not a big deal, they will heal. Human rights, it is a big deal and they will take a lot of time to heal and they need medical attention. The elderly will report if any abuse. Most of the times, we do not see the elderly person coming forward to report the abuse because of multiple reasons ranging from fear or ranging to neglect or financial constraints. Elderly abuse is a criminal offence under Section 506. Elderly people can ask for financial maintenance from their children under Section 211. Multiple NGOs and non-profit organizations are available for elderly people who are experiencing abuse. <laughs>